What's up guys, welcome back to the shop. So on this episode, we're gonna be tearing into this mystery six liter I picked up from a buddy of mine for 300 bucks. We don't know anything about it. We don't know if anything is spun or how it ran or anything at all. It is complete mystery motor, but for 300 bucks, I could not pass it up. So we're gonna get tearing into this motor and figure out what's wrong with it. If there's nothing wrong with it, and it's a good clean motor, we're gonna go ahead and gap the rings and get this thing ready to go to be put back into the Chevelle so we can get the Chevelle back on the road this spring. If everything checks out on this block is go get a forged rotating assembly with some forged pistons. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And check out our website, ftpspeedshop.com. Let's get this six liter tore apart. As one thing I do wanna say about these Gen 3 six liter motors, if there's no paper tag back here or anything, there's no way to tell if this is an LQ4 or an LQ9 from the outside of the motor. It'll have a six liter stamped on the block, but or casted into the block. But other than that, there's no way to tell what it is without taking a look at the pistons. LQ4 pistons will be dished and the LQ9s will be flat tops. The LQ9 motor was the more desirable motor, being the higher horsepower motor, uh, made more torque. But for boosted applications, the LQ4 is a more desirable motor. Uh, for my situation, I'm hoping for an LQ4, two reasons. One, I'm going to be reusing my LS1 heads because they're clean and set up, ready to go with the new valve springs on it. And they just had a valve job done on it, you know, a handful of miles ago. So they're all ready to go. That will be bumping our compression ratio up just slightly. Uh, if it happens to be an LQ9, bumping the compression up with those heads and then putting boost on, it's just gonna be way too much for it. So if it's LQ9, we can stand to bump the compression ratio up just a little bit and still be fine with that supercharger application. So that's what we're hoping for. So let's get this thing tore apart and see what we're working with. All right, guys, we've got the valve cover pulled off and surprisingly for how dirty this motor is, it's really pretty clean underneath there. So that's gonna be a good sign that this motor is probably in a little bit better shape than it looks. It looks like it's been sitting in a, uh, I don't even know, a barn off a gravel road or something. And it was probably covered in oil with valve cover gasket leaks and then just all the dust just caked to it. Definitely was probably a vehicle that saw a lot of gravel roads. But the interior of the motor, or at least underneath the valve cover, looks really clean, so that's promising. It is an LQ4. And it's got a little bullshit in the cylinders. A little bit of rust in that cylinder there, but we got an LQ4. Alright guys, so now that we know we got an LQ4 here, I think it's gonna be exactly what we want to do. We're gonna go ahead and blow the other head off and get this thing up on a engine stand. So we can uh, see what the underside looks like, the bottom side. We're going to have to pull the pistons out to gap the rings. So we'll probably end up just running a dingle ball down here anyway. Just try to clean up. I don't think that rust is too bad in there. I think it's just mostly surface, not, not any pitting. So we'll clean all that up with that. All right, so the time has finally come to get this 6 liter over to the machine shop. I blew the um, oil pan off and pulled the timing cover off and got the cam out and the back cover and all that. And basically we're ready right now to undo each connecting rod, push the pistons out, and then we will take the crank out. We'll make sure that we don't have any spun rod bearings or main bearings or any issues, make sure all the journals look really well. That was the main problem. I took the, um, LS1 crank into the machine shop and it was toast. So that's bad news, but I think I have a game plan figured out. So what we're gonna do with this, if everything checks out on this block, is 
go get a forged rotating assembly with some forged pistons. Uh, I think we're gonna go with like the uh, Summit, what is it, LS Pro or whatever kit. Uh, put that in this one, take the crank and the rods out and put those back in the LS1 because the crank and the rods are effectively the same. And then we'll go get a set of um, aftermarket pistons for the LS1 so we can get that thing back up to go up and running and we won't have a ton of money in it because I think the block and everything is going to check out just fine on that and so we might as well meh, might as well keep the uh, the motor for a future project so that's a game plan tonight I'm going to get this stuff pulled apart and blown apart the rest of the way we're going to get it loaded up take it to the machine shop in the morning so yeah it's finally starting to happen Got them loaded up, ready to go. All right guys, what's going on? It's a beautiful March morning. It's about 40 degrees right now. and We're on our way out to Wishman Performance. Uh, we got the uh, 5.7 LS1 and the six liter LQ4 in the back of the truck. I got the crank and the rods uh, from the six liter here with it also. And we're gonna have him go ahead and take a look at everything. I'm hoping that the 5.7 is in good shape and nothing wrong with it. Everything appears to be really good, just got a little bit of metal ran through it. And there was one questionable rod bearing on that six liter. It looked like it had started to spin a little bit, but the crank still felt pretty good. So I'm hoping that it didn't take the rod out or the crank out or mess anything up. That's my goal or my hope anyway, so that we can use that rotating assembly out of the six liter minus the pistons and put it over into the 5.7 and make a decent little runner for not a whole lot of money in that aspect and then go ahead and get a whole forged rotating assembly for the 6 liter and just not have to worry about it anymore and just be done with it so that's the goal and uh, we'll see what he says and I'll let you guys know. Alright guys I'm going to call it a wrap there so we got everything taken to the machine shop everything did check out and is in good working order and we got the forged rotating assembly ordered but parts of that are on back order so it's going to be a couple months before that thing even gets the parts it needs in order to do the machine work in order to get the motor put back together so I got to decide what I'm going to do if I'm going to get a different motor for the Chevelle for the summer or if I'm just going to wait it out until the end of the summer and put the forged motor in so I'll figure out what I'm going to do here in the next couple weeks, and we will uh, check you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Later. Mm -hmm.